I'm sitting in front of my house and this dude just drives by literally coffee in one hand phone in the other just driving down the street not even looking at the road excuse me hello there everyone welcome to a new reading vlog it is december the first and i'm going to try to vlog every day for the month leading up till christmas i don't know if i'm going to film from christmas to new year's because i am out of town then so we'll see if i do maybe a little out of town vlog today is december the first it's around four o'clock almost in the afternoon um i've been doing a few things today i really want to film videos today like i really want to i know it's only i know it's four o'clock right now but i really want to do that get that out of the way because i only have 12 days left of the term i'm only taking two community college courses because the school that i am going to in a month in january needed me to t they needed me to take two classes before i went to their school so i only have like one more week of class and then it's finals, so you're gonna hang with me while all of that is going on. So I have class tomorrow. I have been crafting today. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a big crafty person. I love to do crafts. I went to the fabric store yesterday because all of their fleece fabrics at Joann's was 60% off. Uh, so I bought materials for three blankets and I finished one of them today and i'm halfway done with the second one already when my sister got into college uh my younger sister got into college um i told her what her graduation present was going to be and i still hadn't made it yet i made it last night and she's been in school for a whole semester so this is going to be kind of like her graduation christmas present all in one i'm going to give it to her on christmas because it's the next time i'm going to see her but um it is a tie blanket Oh, can you see that? It's a tie blanket. There's two different fabrics. This is the school that she goes to and the school that I'm going to. And the back is gray. I just made two different fabrics into one blanket. I'm excited to give this to her. I finished this today and then I'm halfway done with my friend Drew's because he went to the, he's going to the school that I um, left. So I'm making his blanket my old school colors um because they don't have a print like a m does um so i'm just doing one side maroon and one side gold like would anybody be interested in like getting one of these i guess i was thinking about making an etsy shop of them but they'd be pretty expensive because the material to get them is pretty expensive so i don't know <laughs> let me know down below if uh, you think I should open an Etsy shop making uh, tie knot blankets. <laughs> anyway, what I am currently reading, I am currently <laughs> reading, um, I'm still reading Unbroken from the Buzzwordathon. Um, I haven't really had time to physically read, uh, so I have read maybe one more story since. I really want to finish it though. That's a short story collection all about disabled teens. I'm actually really enjoying it. One was mediocre and I've liked all the other ones so far a lot. So, so far I really recommend this uh, short story collection. I am 50% of the way through The Guppy Prince. I don't remember the author's name. I started it last night um, while I was babysitting. But this is a weird one. I've been really wanting to find a good mermaid-ish merman book. I have not ever found a good one. I saw the cover. It looks great. It's an LGBTQ romance. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna try this one out. I'm 50, 50, around 50% 50 of the way through. It's less than four stars, that's for sure. But I really like the idea of it. The earth is now a place where everybody knows that mermaids and witches and um, shifters, all of those people exist and humans and all of them live together like they all know that the one that that they exist like mermaids aren't secret like everybody knows that mermaids exist it's about this merman who is a prince and he hears the mating call and it's a human 
The premise sounded really great. If the execution of it isn't the best, it's very, very, very insta-lovey, which isn't really my cup of tea. The steamy scene one so far has not been that great. Um, it's just, I don't think it's as well written as it could have been. Like it could have been written way better. Um, but I really want to know what happens. So I'm going to finish it. Like it's very addicting. So I will hopefully maybe finish that today if I have time. And for audiobook, I started The Beast by J.R. Ward yesterday. I just bought a physical copy on Black Friday um, to add to my collection way up top there. And I also finished Blood Kiss, which is from the spinoff series. I'm reading all of her books, I think, in publication order between those two series. That's my reading update. Um, I'm going to go finish my friend's blanket that I'm working on and wrap my sister's uh, to put by the mantle. That's where we're putting presents so far. We, we have already presents out right now wrapped. <laughs> I'm gonna go get to making that blanket and I will talk to y'all later. So I'm about to film. I have a new setup actually. My grandma found this in the back of her closet and she thought of me and so she gave it to me. So thank you so much grandma and look how beautiful it looks with all my books. It like she was like it ties in well with all your book videos because you like romance books and it says love and it's pink. Thank you. I love it. I decided to put all of my Colleen Hoover, Christina Lauren books and then I just have my Aaron Watt books there till I have enough to fill the whole shelf of Christine Lauren and Colleen Hoover because those are the two romance authors that I have the most books from besides J.R. Ward which has her own shelf right at the very very top of my, that one. <laughs> so I'm about to film all of the 2019 releases that I still have not read yet <laughs> that I want to and there are a bunch. I'm gonna go film that right now because it's going to take a while. <laughs> Um, so I will chat with y'all later. Hello everyone. It is actually the next day. I haven't really had time till now to vlog update y'all. It's actually 7.30 at night right now. Um, I didn't really have the opportunity to vlog or anything because I went to class and then straight to work and I came home like 30 minutes ago. I've done a lot of listening today with my audiobook, The Beast by J.R. Ward. I am almost halfway done. I think I know what's going to happen in this book. I'm not sure. I think I know what's going to happen. Sorry, I'm being really vague. It's number what, like 13, 14 in the Black Tiger Brotherhood series. I read maybe a tiny bit of the Guppy Prince. I think I'm maybe like 60, 65% of the way through now. The world building's just not that great. The writing's not all that great. Every character like sounds the same. So it's not the best written book I've ever read but I want to know what happens at the end like I don't want to DNF it I want to know what happens to these two characters at the end like I, I'm interested in the characters I'm mainly in it for these two characters to see what happens to them I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done this week I have three tests this week Wednesday Thursday Friday I've been meaning to watch booktube I haven't really been watching booktube um I used to comment on every single like booktube video for like smaller booktubers i used to comment on every single video that i watch and i haven't been doing that recently and like i'm feeling guilty if that makes sense i just haven't had time to comment because i just put them on my apple tv and watch them listen to them in the background while i do other things so i haven't really been able to comment on videos i'm sorry <laughs> um but i have been watching but hopefully when a uh, term is over on the 12th I can get caught up on all the booktube videos and everything. But other than that, I'm going to go make myself some dinner. I guess I will update you probably tomorrow when I have a better update. Hi y'all, it's actually a couple hours later. Sorry for the shower noises. I am about to jump in the shower and I thought I would update you before I take a shower and then go to bed because I have to get up at 5.30 tomorrow. Woo! I just finished The Guppy Prince by C.W. Gray. I think maybe like a three or 3.5. I think I'm going to continue with the series because I really want to know what happens with the next couple in 
the next book, but I don't know when that's coming out. It's not on Goodreads because this book came out in November of this year. The way I'm thinking about the series is the way I feel about the Ice Planet Barbarian series. Like, I know for some people they're gonna freaking hate this book. And sometimes it's not that well written. Yeah, I, I loved these characters. It was very character based. I wanted to know what happened. An issue that I did have that I saw a lot in this book is there's a lot of people who don't like the merman or like judge the merman because he is something called a guppy mermaid, which is like the low list like ranking kind of mermaid there is um basically they judge him a lot even though he's a prince so he gets a lot of hate from people throughout the book though you realize why these people were being so crappy to him which i really don't like i don't really i don't i didn't really like that uh, i just didn't like that part of the book how that was addressed i don't know if that, made, that, that that's making any sense i am so tired right now um anyway i'm gonna go jump in the shower and maybe read a little bit more of the beast before I go to bed, while I'm getting ready for bed, all that jazz, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is actually a couple days later. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. Um, I've been working and studying. I also got this big shiner on my face. I bonked my head onto a chair last night, and um, it's gonna bruise up pretty bad. <laughs> so I have that pretty thing on my face now. I am in the parking lot of my biology class. I'm about to take my last lecture exam so yeah that's what i'm in for today i have two other tests this week so we'll see how that goes last night i finished the beast by jr ward i needed to know what happened at the end of this book the last chapter was oh, oh my god my heart the last chapter um so this morning i started i believe it's called blood vow which is the second book in the Black Dagger Legacy series. I'm reading her two series um, in publication date order. So far it's going really great. I'm not missing out on anything and it's not complicated to read at all. Pretty sure that was a great way to go, reading them in publication order. I am so excited because after Blood Vow, I get to read The Chosen. I am so excited for that one. I'm so excited for that one. Sorry if you don't read the Black Dagger Brotherhood books. You probably have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. But The Chosen is a very well-anticipated book in the series about a certain couple. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead inside so that I can study a little bit before my exam. Hello. It is later in the day. It is a bedtime. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. 11 o'clock. <laughs> Um, there's Miss Willow. She's already asleep over here. So, I haven't updated you, like, at all today, and I'm very sorry. This bump on my head, you probably even can't really see it. It just looks like three dots, but, like, those are, like, the part where the chair, like, hit my head, where I hit my head on the chair. It's a big bump there. It might be purple tomorrow. We'll see. I bruise very, very easily. Fun fact, people with celiac disease might have other autoimmune disorders. Most of the time they do. I have like, what, like five now? <laughs> and I forget the name of it, but I have like a skin condition where I bruise very easily and I have scars on my body that have been on my body for over 10 years and they're mosquito bite scars. Like, it's ridiculous. This, uh, bump on my head or whatever. I think it's made me like not feel good. Today I did not feel great. I did not feel great whatsoever. Vision was kind of off and my head was pounding the whole day. So uh, when I came home from work at like 5 30 I was telling my dad I was like my head just hurts so bad. He was like take some Advil and go take a nap dude. I'm like I will take you up on that. I took two Advil and went to bed and didn't wake up till nine o'clock at night <laughs> i have a test tomorrow so i haven't really studied all that much but i know most of the material already um so that's a plus i want to tell y'all that i am over halfway done with blood vow by jr ward over halfway <laughs> i think it's like a 15 14 hour audiobook it says i'm over halfway done with it and i started it this morning <laughs> there's like a lot of storylines going in each black dagger brotherhood or black dagger legacy book the two main ones in here are really great i really love the two main ones about our new love interests in this book and about rage and mary and their situation their situation has me on like the edge of my seat <laughs> anyway i forgot to tell you yesterday 
I got a pre-order in. One of the last two, I think I pre-ordered Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I don't know when that's coming in. I don't remember the release date for that. But the other new release that I pre-ordered is a Watch Over Me by Mila Gray. This is the fourth book in Mila Gray's like companion romance series. Let me grab them. So these books are actually really great. I think Mila Gray is just like an autobi author for me now. I didn't know a thing about this book before I pre-ordered it and I read the summary I think yesterday and was like dude that's so freaking good that sounds so good um the first book is come back to me this is a military romance this is her brother's best friend and he is a couple years older than her she's still in high school and he is out of high school they've always had an unrequited crush on each other and I think when he's on leave one time he confesses his feelings for her um, but it is her brother's best friend. This one is really great. I believe I gave this one five stars. Second book is Stay With Me. I believe this is about the girl who is the best friend of the girl in the first book. She is, I think like a nurse. I don't remember, but she works in a facility that houses vets that have been injured during war. And I think her love interest has recently become blind. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, this book it's been a long time since I've read these books. I'm pretty sure that's what this is about. Yeah, she works as an intern at a military hospital in California. And Noel is a wounded Marine. Um, this one's actually really great. I think I gave this one 4.5 or 4 stars. I didn't love it as much as the first book. I think my light is dying. Sorry if the lighting sucks. Um, anyway, uh, Run Away With Me is the third book in this companion romance series. I believe I have a review of this. I'll link it down below. Um, only this one because I read the other two books before I started my booktube channel. This one I believe is like a second chance romance kind of thing. Our main character woman goes through something really bad. Trigger warning for sexual assault. It is by one of her friends, I believe relatives or someone close to them. I don't remember but something happens to her and her best friend and her family up and move away without a word to her whatsoever. And then I believe it's 10 years later and he comes back to the town that she is in. It's them trying to figure out their feelings for each other, whether they still have feelings or not. And her confronting him about how he basically abandoned her. He was her best friend and he up and left her without a word when something really, really painful happened to her. It is their romance. I did not enjoy this as much as the other two, unfortunately. There were things that I just didn't like and there were a bunch of typos in this one, actually. Be sure to check out my review that it links down below if you wanna know like the details as to why. This book is about our main character, Zoe. And it looks like she has a bunch of younger siblings and she has always protected them from their abusive father. But then her father was just released from prison, is trying to find the family. Then Tristan enters, who is a member of the Coast Guard. Tristan promises his best friend, who is also Zoe's marine brother, that he will take care of Zoe and her family, protect them, watch over them, and be the rock they need in their lives. So I guess this is Tristan and Zoe's relationship. That sounds so good to me. That kind of sounds like bodyguard-esque. And I love the trope where like the bodyguard or the protector falls for the person they're protecting. I love that trope. The Black Dagger Brotherhood book, Black Dagger Legacy book I'm listening to right now. That's a trope in that one too. So I really want to read this one as soon as possible. Wow, my light is really dead right now. Um, I need to charge this. That is on the to-do list. But anyway, I am going to go to bed. I have to get up at 5.30. I only have to wake up at 5.30 two more times because of my test tomorrow and my final next Thursday. So yay, I don't have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning anymore after two more times. <laughs> I'm gonna go head to bed. I will talk to y'all later. Again, sorry for this very, very, very sucky lighting. This sucks. I'm gonna go charge this sucker. Good morning. It is another morning in my car. I forgot to film yesterday, I think. I had a test yesterday. I have another test today. <laughs> I kind of picked the wrong week to choose to vlog. I forgot to tell y'all I am reading a book right now on my phone. I forgot the name. It's about dragons. I'll just put the cover up. A dragon mate book but with curvy girls. 
the Kirby Girls. So my only issue is that it's like real insta lovey even for a mate book. They have like cute little banters or whatever. Like they banter really cute and stuff. But like this guy said like maybe four conversations with this girl and seen her like for only two days and um, thinks he's in love with her. Which, okay, that's his faded mate. Okay, get it. But it's a little bit too fast for my taste. Wow, I'm like falling asleep while I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> I am actually five and a half hours into The Chosen now. I finished, I think it's called Blood Vow. I finished Blood Vow yesterday at work and then I immediately started The Chosen at work. This book, The Chosen, is kind of stressing me out a lot. Yesterday, I was so anxious reading this. Like, I had to put it down. The one book that I've been the most excited for is making me super anxious. And so, like, I haven't really been wanting to read it as much as, say, like, The Beast. The Beast, I tried to read that all in one day or listen to it all in one day. I can't talk about it because it's a spoiler. But, like, there are certain things happening that I'm, like, freaking out about. Even though for most J.R. Ward books in this series, like, you can basically predict the ending. I honestly have no idea how this one's gonna end. Some things in here, I just... I, my heart was racing, I was very anxious, and uh, I didn't really want to read it yesterday for a while. Anyway, I'm going to go take my last test for the week, my last full class of term, and then next week is my two finals. So, I'm gonna go in there, study for a little bit, and I will chat with y'all later. I'm sitting in front of my house, and this dude just drives by literally coffee in one hand phone in the other just driving down the street not even looking at the road excuse me hello there everyone sorry if the sun looks really bad right now it is very sunny funny enough it's actually pretty cold here in houston at the moment it is saturday i have to run a bunch of errands i'm going to first go to the fabric store to get fabric for more blankets oh my gosh that's like so weird, okay. Um, to get more fabric for um, the kids I nanny, um, let's call them S and T. I'm not gonna say their names, but S and T. I'm gonna get some fabric for S and T's blanket. I decided that their Christmas presents are gonna be blankets that I make. I might get my best friend a fabric if I find one. I'm looking for like a specific theme for her blanket and if it's there, I'm taking it. I might get one for my mom and for other people, we'll see. I'm gonna go to the fabric store, I gotta go to the grocery store. I have to go to, I think I'm gonna have to go to Petco or Pet, PetSmart or whatever because our lizard needs some worms. <laughs> uh, yesterday was kind of really draining for me. I've been really not feeling well for the past couple days. If y'all didn't know, I have something called POTS, Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. Basically, my heart rate is way higher than normal people and like the blood like, you know how blood like regulates throughout your body, like evenly distributes throughout your body? Well, mine likes to pull to my lower extremities, which means like when I like stand up, it immediately drops to like my feet or my hands and leaves my brain and my heart. So I am prone to fainting a lot. I get really sick, like really, like I get really bad migraines. I'm very prone to days on end migraines. Um, I'm just, I get very fatigued. I'm a very fatigued person because I also have celiac disease and celiac disease just makes people very fatigued in general and just add that on top of the pots it just like <sighs> I'm a very sleepy tired person so if I'm not feeling well like I'm not feeling well I'm going to go lay in my bed for a while and there's some days I just don't feel good with books I've been really wanting to see more representation in people with disorders or even freaking food allergies I have yet oh, <laughs> I have yet to find a book, read a book, that has a food allergy in it. A main character with a freaking food allergy. I have yet to read one. I just wish that there were more, or was more representation in the books we read. There are so many people out there who have food allergies. There are so many people out there who have disorders. There are so many people out there who have disabilities. And I would like to be more represented in this book community. Just saying, there are so many people out in the world who would love that as well, I know. Anyway, enough of my little talk. I am going to get to driving to the fabric store 
and I, who knows, I might show you how to make a blanket. We will see. This vlog is very lackluster at the moment, so maybe I'll add a little bit of a kick of blanket making for y'all, if that's even something that's exciting. Anyway, I am going to go to the fabric store right now. Hello there, everyone. It is later. I changed my shirt because now it is hot outside. <laughs> it was really freezing this morning, and... It is freaking hot right now. I want to pop on here, let you know what fabrics I got. Okay, so I have material. Oh my god, my hair is disgusting. I need to wash it today. <laughs> I have material for four blankets for Christmas. Katie and Grandma, if you're watching this, please look away because two of these are yours. <laughs> so I'll start with the one on top. We have my grandma's blanket that I'm gonna make. Um, she loves French bulldogs a lot. Like she, she's had like maybe four or five French bulldogs before she has two right now so i saw this fabric in the store and i was like that's perfect for grandma and the back of it is going to be this really soft gray um next is t um the little boy that i nanny um i got him a camo one with um a green back he loves camo so um next is my best friend katie so i found this fabric I don't know if you can see it very well. I found this fabric. And it kind of looks like the night court sky. I don't know about y'all, but it does uh, to me. And she loves Akamath a lot. So um, I got this one for her. And the back is going to be like a dark blue that matches the background. And lastly is S's, the little girl that I nanny, T's twin. I found her this pretty little white one that has um, her favorite colors, pink, kind of a little bit of purple, and a teal. And then the back is just going to be white because if i put any other um fabric behind it it would just like show through the white pattern so yeah i had to do white willow yeah i actually have one more in my room my friend alex she already knows that i'm making her one though um and that one is a houston astros mickey mouse blanket <laughs> her two favorite things i'm going to be making these maybe later today i have to go help my mom with a photo shoot in like an hour so i'm gonna go eat some lunch maybe get started on a blanket i don't know but i want to maybe get one done today uh so i can show y'all how i make these blankets because i absolutely love them i wanted to get material for my own i've never made myself one but my cart was literally so full like overflowing with fabric because they don't all they don't come pre-cut like you have to go to the cutting counter it takes a while for them to cut two yards for each and there were eight different material things they had to cut. So I was like, I'll wait another day to get my own because <laughs> she has a lot to cut. So I'm going to go watch some booktube while I eat my lunch. I love to also watch booktube while I make the blanket. Hello there, everyone. It is a little later in the day. I'm here with Mr. Oreo. Hi, you say hi? No, bye. <laughs> Anyway, I just finished Chase Me by A.D. Ward. This is the dragon book that I was reading that I talked about earlier. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one star. It's not great. He does a few things with like out her consent. The world building isn't that great at all. I didn't know what was going on. The female main character like realizes she has powers in this book, which she's had powers her whole life, but the reason why <laughs> they haven't shown up is because, uh, whoa, dude, <laughs> it's because she's like, kept her emotions in check or something all of a sudden all of her emotions get let out it just it wasn't great with the world building and the um magic part of it and it was very 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 insta lovey even for a mate book ruby dixon just came out with i think it's called pennies something it's <laughs> the newest book in the ice home series which is a part of the ice planet barbarian spinoff alien romance smutty books um i read every single one in that series in both series but i have yet to read the one that was released before that one i think it was released earlier this month or, or last month called callie's catastrophe <laughs> so i think i'm gonna try to read those i don't know why i haven't read callie's catastrophe yet i usually read them really really fast when they're released but um, i guess it just slipped my mind with school and everything so i'm probably gonna read callie's catastrophe tonight say bye Bye, Oreo. We'll see you later. Right? Right? He's done with me right now. He's so done. Hello. It is later. I'm actually going to start making my friends a blanket for Christmas. And I'm going to be watching some booktube. There's Steph behind me. I'm going to be watching some booktube while I make my blanket. And I haven't done my montage shout out video 
thing in my vlog in a while, so we're gonna do it today. Watch me shout out some booktubers while I make a Astro's <laughs> Mickey Mouse blanket for my friend Alex. Um, I love all of these booktubers. I'm subscribed to all of them. I love them a lot, so be sure to go check them out. I love all of them very dearly, and I know that y'all will as well, so please go check them out. <laughs> I'm interrupting because I am getting ready to cut to actually make the blanket. So here we have, here's the fabric, all of it. Um, okay, so one side, there's two pieces of fabric. One side is like, I would say like the printed side. And then I have to pick like um, a color to put on the back of the blanket. What I've been doing is I've been, there's like access fabric on the sides of all of them that you're supposed to cut off. So that's what I've been doing. And I had to trim some of the blanket because the both both of the sides have to be even, obviously. Um, so that's what I've been doing. So I have like clips in them um, to make the blanket stay where it's supposed to. Okay, so basically what you do is you lay it out like this on the table, flat. And then I have a a meter or a yardstick i believe it's a yardstick i don't know this is two yards of fabric each by the way to make like an adult size blanket so basically what you're gonna do i'm gonna use my smaller one for this part is um for each side you're going to each corner four corners so for each side you're going to measure five inches and then five inches on this side so you're basically cutting out a five inch by five inch square on each corner boom like this take that off and you do that for each corner of the blanket i like to do all of them at once but i wanted to show you all what you do for the rest of the blanket um before i do that so basically what you're gonna do you can take your yardstick you're going to make it go right where this corner starts make it go completely straight flat you're gonna have to move it once you get towards the end because it is two yards of fabric okay so it is completely straight flat and so what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna try and do this while the camera's shaking. Um, you see the one inch mark. You're going to cut one inch increments all down the blanket. I cut out a little more um, pieces just so I can show you all the tying part of it to make it a tie knot blanket. Um, sometimes the uh, pieces will get over an inch and that's okay just as long as you're around an inch I guess it's okay I've never had trouble with it, it doesn't need to be perfect but I'll show you the tying portion so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two pieces um, and you're gonna put your finger underneath you're going to wrap it around Probably go put your finger like as tight as you can to the point here. You're gonna tie your finger, go under here, like a little knot here. You're gonna pull both pieces through. Make it tight like this. And there is a knot. I do this throughout the whole edge here. I like to cut all the pieces first, but for the sake of me showing y'all what I'm doing, I just cut out four for now. Sometimes if one of these edges is longer than the other, I like to trim it off um, to make them even, if that makes sense. Um, so that's basically it. You tie all the way down the blanket and the end result is a blanket. So I guess I'll show you 
what it looks like when I'm done dying. Hello, it is many hours later. It is actually almost midnight um, and I finished the blanket. I kind of messed up on a little bit of it and I feel very bad, but hopefully it's not very noticeable. Here it is, big Mickey Mouse um, Houston Astros blanket. Um, the part that I was talking about that I messed up on was it's this part right here. I don't know if it's very noticeable. These ones are so tiny. I don't know why, but for this row, I cut it shorter than it should be. Like, cause I like trim them sometimes after I've already knotted them. But for like this side, I decided to trim them before I knotted them and it kind of bit me in the ass. <laughs> cause these are so freaking tiny. And then these ones are long, but I don't want all of them to be this little, tiny little crappy ones, so. Hopefully it does not look bad, <laughs> um, but this is the back of it. That's what the back of it looks like. Little blanket. I will never do that again. I've learned my lesson at least now. <laughs> there is the Mickey Mouse Houston Astros blanket. Um, I'm going to pop this in the wash while I fold my laundry. That needs to be taken out of the dryer and then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Hello there everyone. Happy Monday. I did not film at all yesterday because I was studying for my finals. Today's a Monday. I'm gonna end the vlog here today, but I want to give you all a reading update. I literally finished less than an hour ago, The Chosen by J.R. Ward. I don't think I can give this five stars. Just some things happened that made me really, really anxious and I didn't really like, and then the ending with how everything was resolved was really, really, really fast. So I'm thinking maybe 4.5 stars possibly. I don't know if you've read The Chosen, let me know what you rated it down below. Um, I also got over, I believe, 50% of the way through Callie's Catastrophe last night. This one is about Callie who immediately resonates with Matok, maybe, and then she overhears him talking about her and she thinks that he's bad-mouthing her. It's just the whole relationship the reason why she does not like him is because of a miscommunication. I do not like that part of it, the whole plot. 50% of the way through the book, she does not like him because she thinks she hears him bad-mouthing her. And like, if you would've just talked to him and asked him what was going on, <laughs> like all of this could've been avoided. <laughs> there's like a warning at the beginning of the book, it touches on depression and there's a little bit of like a drugging. It's real weird. I don't think this is gonna be my new favorite in the series at all. I'm really excited for, I think it's called Penny's Protector. I'm really excited for that one. That one seems really cute. That's the next one in the series. I'm excited for that one, but I have to read this one to get to that one. So I'm thinking around three stars again for this one. <laughs> so it has been a long week of Black Tiger Brotherhood J.R. Ward books. <laughs> what, I read three of them in the span of a week? Sorry, I have no physical books to show y'all. I have been busy with school and on Thursday I am done So I can finally read some physical books. Anyways, um, I guess I will chat with y'all in a new reading vlog But other than that, I will chat with y'all in the next one. Bye